Greeting students. Today we are going to learn about one of India's largest selling motorcycle brand. We must have heard the name of the company, Hero Motor Corp Limited. Let us know this company in a much better way. Hero Motor Corp Limited, formerly Hero Honda, is an Indian motorcycle and scooter manufacturer based in New Delhi, India. Hero Honda started in 1984 as a joint venture between Hero Cycles of India and Honda of Japan. The company is the largest two-wheeler manufacturer in India. The 2006 Forbes 200 Most Respected Companies list has Hero Honda Motors ranked at 108. In 2010, when Honda decided to move out of the joint venture, Hero Group bought the shares held by Honda. Subsequently, in August 2011, the company was renamed Hero Motor Corp with a new corporate identity. On 4 June 2012, Hero Motor Corp approved a proposal to merge the investment arm of its parent Hero Investment Private Limited into the automaker. The decision comes after 18 months of its split from Honda Motors. Hero is a brand name used by the Munjil brothers for their flagship company, Hero Cycles Limited. A joint venture between the Hero Group and Honda Motor Company was established in 1984 as the Hero Honda Motors Limited at their Ruhera, India. Munjil family and Honda Group both own 26% stake in the company. In 2010, it was reported that Honda planned to sell its stake in the venture to the Munjil family. During the 1980s, the company introduced motorcycles that were popular in India for their fuel economy and low cost. A popular advertising campaign based on the slogan, Fill it, shut it, forget it, that emphasized the motorcycle's fuel efficiency helped that company grow at the double-digit pace since inception. The technology in the bikes of Hero Honda for almost 26 years from 1984 to 2010 has come from the Japanese counterpart Honda. Hero Motor Corp has three manufacturing facilities based at Daruhera Gurgaon in Haryana and at Haridwar in Uttarakhand. These plants together are capable of churning out 3 million bikes per year. Hero Motor Corp has a large sales and service network with over 3,000 dealerships and service points across India. Hero Honda has a customer loyalty program since 2000 called the Hero Honda Passport Program. The company has a stated aim of achieving revenues of $10 billion and volumes of 10 million two-wheelers by 2016 to 17. This in conjunction with new countries where they can now market their two-wheelers following their disengagement from Honda. Hero Motor Corp hopes to achieve 10% of their revenues from international markets and they expected to launch sales in Nigeria by end 2011 or early 2012. In addition to cope with the new demand over the coming half decade, the company is coming up with their fourth factory in Neem Rana, Rajasthan, while their fifth factory is planned to be set up in Gujarat. In December 2010, the board of directors of the Hero Honda Group have decided to terminate a joint venture between Hero Group of India and Honda of Japan in a phased manner. The Hero Group would buy out the 26% stake of the Honda in JV Hero Honda. Under the joint venture, Hero Group could not export to international markets except Sri Lanka and Nepal and the termination would mean that Hero Group can now export. Since the beginning, the Hero Group relied on their Japanese partner Honda for the technology in their bikes. So there are concerns that the Hero Group might not be able to sustain the performance of the joint venture alone. I don't see marketing challenges as big as uh, what the press is making it out. I think the separation of the two brands is quite okay. People are quite getting used to or will get used to newer brand, whatever the new brand is, whether it's just Hero for example, without Honda, I don't think it will have any impact in the marketplace. The real impact in the marketplace is going to be whether the, uh, the motorcycle market, for example, is going to grow or not. Let's say if Honda comes on their own, which they already are here, and the competition intensifies, 
if the market does not grow for whatever reason, then there might be some impact by branding, but not otherwise. You know, you've, you've spoken about the rule of three, Dr. Shet. So let me ask you, at this point in time, Hero Honda, the number one two-wheeler maker, not just in India, but also globally. Now with Honda, which continues to operate independently as well, is going to obviously be making an aggressive push for the Indian market. Uh, how do you see the rule of three applying in, in this hyper-competitive two-wheeler space in India? No question. Uh, in any rule of three situation, when number one company and number two company compete for market share, number three or number four goes in the ditch. Unless the market is growing at the same time. And the minimum market share for a number three company has to be 10%. The Japanese auto major will exit the joint venture through a series of off-market transactions by giving the Munjil family that held a 26% stake in the company an additional 26%. Honda, which also has an independent fully owned two-wheeler subsidiary, Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India HMSI will exit Hero Honda at a discount and get over $1 billion for its stake. The discount will be between 30% and 50% to the current value of Honda's stake as per the price of the stock after the market closed on Wednesday. As per the arrangement, it will be a two-led deal. In the first part, the Munjil family led by Bridge Mohan Lal Munjil Group will form an overseas incorporated special purpose vehicle SPV to buy out Honda's entire stake which will be backed by Bridge Loans. This SPV would eventually be thrown open for private equity participation and those in the fray include Warburg, Pences, Kohlberg, Kravis Robert, KKR, TPG, Bain Capital and Carlyne Group. Honda will continue to provide technology to Hero Honda motorbikes until 2014 for existing as well as future models. Many changes for Hero, for the Hero Group as well. In his very first interview post the Hero and Honda split, Pavan Munjal, chief at the Hero Group, spells out his plans to NDTV's Srinivas Sanjayan at Davos. The final binding licensing agreement uh, was signed a few days ago by Hero and Honda. Now the Hero Group is actually free to plan an independent future, but at the same time it is secure that it has technological support from Honda for the next three years. Well, it, it won't be clear today as well. Why is that? Um, um, well, we still are waiting for the transaction to happen and that's the time really we can uh, talk about the terms of the transaction. But um, as you know, we, we signed the MOU on the 16th of December. We announced it to the press, to the media. Yes. And uh, Saturday late night, we signed, electronically signed the the final binding agreements, uh, the license agreements between Hero Honda and Honda. Right. Um, so which that part is over. We are now going to be uh, buying the stock, the shares of Honda and uh, hoping to do it uh, sooner than later. How many uh, crucial platforms and, and engines and models does this now give you access to? Um, you see, there is a three and a half years of transition period that we have until June 2014. Uh, we will have uh, more new models coming in. And like every year, we will keep introducing new models and variants over the next three, three and a half years with uh, Honda's support. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we will be able to gear up, garner our own R&D resources, develop our own technology, uh, also go out and uh, look for technology or products from across the globe. Okay. So that process of disentanglement between the two you're saying will take about three, three and a half years, is that right? Um, well, actually, I wouldn't say the disentanglement would take three, three and a half years. Um, that could be once, much sooner. Yeah, once the transaction is over, then um, <coughs> Honda personnel will go back right. and um, the, the hero management will be running the show completely. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but in terms of import of technology, because we have to develop our own capabilities, our own R&D, that's why the transition period. 
do you still get to retain the brand names of, of the bikes? Um, yes, absolutely. The brand names of the bikes will remain. They will remain with they, you. They will, they will remain with us. But what happens is uh, because there is also a joint brand in Hero Honda nice. and also the company name, <coughs> these will of course change with time. And, and, and we have, uh, again, the transition period available to us to do, to that. To so, do that. So there will be some rebranding and some changes. Surely there will be rebranding, yes. During the fiscal year 2008-9, to the company sold 3.7 million bikes, a growth of 12% over last year. In the same year, the company had a market share of 57% in the Indian market. Hero Honda sales more than two wheelers than the second, third and fourth place two wheelers companies put together. Hero Honda's bike Hero Honda Splendor sells more than 1 million units per year. On 1st June 2012, Hero Motor Corp reported its highest ever monthly sales at 5,56,644 units in May, registering a growth of 11.28%. The new brand identity and logo of Hero Motor Corp were developed by the British firm Wolf Olins. Logo was revealed on 9 August 2011 in London to coincide with the third test match between England and India. Hero Motor Corp can now export to Latin America, Africa and West Asia. Hero is free to use any vendor for its components instead of just Honda approved vendors. The breakup of Hero Honda after a marriage spanning 25 years sent shock waves across the entire Indian auto industry. Hero Honda had brought the concept of a two wheeler in India's collective consciousness. It is also regarded as the largest manufacturer of two wheelers in the world. Then, why the breakup of such an urban successful marriage? The reason cited includes disagreement over various issues and deals. By 2015, the Bharat 4 emission norms will have to be implemented by all the two wheelers. These are very different from the Bharat 3 norms being employed today. Earlier this year, the norms were upgraded from Bharat 2nd to Bharat 3rd for two wheelers, while to BS4 for certain cars and SUVs. The Honda Group has invested a lot into technology and R&D because at the same time in the West, especially the European region, the movement has been onto the Euro 5 norms. Now, this upgradation means greater investment in technology and innovation. The fact of the matter is that at the end of the day, Honda and Hero Group are competitors. And therefore, Honda India is wary of sharing this technology with the Hero Group. This would have also resulted in greater royalty payments towards Honda, which has already impacted the profitability of Hero Honda for many years. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Hero Motor Corp. We went through the company's history to its present market scenario. Hope you must have got useful information about the company. Have a nice day. Goodbye.